our HDFS. Um, uh, as we said, I mean, what can you do with the uh, function, right? Simple file manipulation and uh, uh, standard file system uh, commands, right? So, for example, you can access HDFS from R, meaning I can be in my R, uh, R studio or R client, um, meaning R console, and uh, I can connect to HDFS and uh, read the data from HDFS and create a data frame out of it in my client, assuming the data is small, okay? If the data is large, then I cannot uh, uh, simply access it and load it as a data frame, obviously, because I'll run it out, run out of memory. <clears throat> so read from HDFS uh, to R into a data frame. That's fine too. And obviously, you can write from R to uh, HDFS as well. Okay, both ways. So there was one. Okay. So these are all uh, different. Oh, actually, let's see some examples and then come down. Okay. So these are some of the common functions uh, in Hadoop uh, file system API, right? Uh, one is just simply. Uh, listing of all files in Hadoop. Okay, are you guys familiar with these commands? Uh, probably not all of you, right? Since um, no, okay, cool. Yeah, very much like uh, Linux command, right? I mean, all you need to do is uh, put Hadoop FS in the middle, uh, in the beginning, and then uh, put a hyphen that uh, tells you the actual command. Okay? I mean, even if you don't know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so here I'm listing all the, all the files and directories under the path slash. Okay? So this is a usual Hadoop command that you would uh, give on the command line in order to list all the files and the same thing can be done from R uh, via a function called hdfs.ls okay assuming that you imported uh, the R hdfs package and similarly you can create a, a directory using uh, minus make uh, mkdir uh, this would be the Hadoop command line uh, Thing that you would use and the same thing you can do uh, from R by calling hdfs.mkdir and similarly this is for putting a file from local file system to Hadoop file system and getting a file which is um, Hadoop file system to local file system okay And uh, there are multiple ways to do those things. We'll uh, see uh, those examples. And then, of course, you can delete a file as well. Overall, the, uh, these are all the functions that you have in R HDFS. Okay? First ones are basic file manipulations, like copying a file, moving a file from one location to the other location on HDFS. Uh, renaming is similar. Uh, and then delete a file, delete a directory, change the ownership of the uh, file, put and get. So those are all the basic file manipulation. And of course you have a file read and write, okay? Um, and you have like a metadata operations, whether to check something is a directory or not, create a directory, um, listing of all the files, um, checking if something exists or not, um, and then some initialization uh, methods. Okay, so I mean, there's nothing to nothing fancy here, right? These are just the basic uh, capabilities of any file system. 
and you simply have a handle to those capabilities from R. Okay, that's all it matters. Okay, any questions? So Patanjali says Hadoop FS minus LS minus LTR. Are you sure that LTR is supported in Hadoop? I didn't know. I never did. I mean, of course, I never tried. Uh, but I... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay. You are just referring to the fact that they are similar. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not all the Unix commands work in this uh, uh, Hadoop fashion, obviously. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless. Okay, so that that's all about RHDFS actually. I mean, in terms of uh, slides, I mean, that's all we can see. We will see examples uh, on the VM uh, later, but uh, from understanding purposes, uh, that's all. Uh, that's all is there for RHDFS. Okay.